Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. Alright, in today's video, we're going to try to do Insane Kitan FX Mark Zero. Now, as you guys can see, the Insane difficulty for Kitan is going to be a bit different. So the boss actually does yellow damage. Uh, the defense is still red, but uh, piercing, that means if your uh, student's defense is yellow, you will receive a lot of damage. So ideally, you want someone that's not defense yellow. So uh, let me show you guys the team that I was uh, testing earlier. So this was a team, as you guys can see, Haruka is pretty good because her defense is uh, red. Uh, Swims Oshino defense is uh, blue. Musuki defense is red. And I'm going to bring in Aru. Apparently Aru is going to be very good. Uh, but I don't have a build Aru myself. So I will need to borrow someone else's one uh, in this particular case. Now, <laughs> let me show you guys. Uh, of course, we have Swims Shizuko and Ako uh, helping the team out. I need to pay up that particular one. So let's talk a little bit about the strategy. Uh, if you guys are not aware, ideally, uh, this is a strat that I see being shared around a lot and a lot of players have been telling me about this strat. You ideally want to time Aru uh, in terms of how you shoot her. But I'm not that good in timing it, so we might have to reduce it to times one speed later on uh, to try to do a better job. So first things first, you want to use Swimsuit Shizuko's uh, skill. Leave Aru out and aim at the stone somewhere around here, right? Right here, something like that. As long as the other characters get it, that's fine. And then Musuki do this. So you want to aim the Green Ranger, hit twice, and then the Yellow Ranger hit once. So aim the circle so that it hits uh, correctly. Okay, wait. I did wrong. It's supposed to be Swimsuit Hoshino first, then Musuki. Okay, that's the wrong order. So yeah, uh, we gotta do that again. So basically, uh... Swimsuit Shizuko, Summer Shizuko, and then Swimsuit Hoshino, then only Mosuki. Alright, time it again. So again, we do this. Okay. So now wait for Swimsuit uh, Hoshino. So we need to take this. Okay. The mines actually help a little bit. Okay, now Mosuki. Okay, no, we got taunted. Just gotta be careful with the taunt. Again, try to aim so that we cover as much area as we can. So you might need Haruka to be as tanky as possible. Uh, right now, Aru is gonna try to aim for... Uh, we're gonna have... What is that? Okay. This is the part that I am not... Too sure if I did that correctly, but that you can see the damage uh, right there. And then now Swimsuit Shizuko again. So hopefully everybody gets shield. I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly even. Not sure if that was the correct order or that was the best way that I could do. Oh, wait, we can hit all four. Can we? No, you can't. You can't hit four. So that's unfortunate, uh, that one. Let's go with uh, Shinsu Oshino again. So that way we can skip a little bit fast. So, again, we're gonna do this. Mutsuki. Aru. Okay, so we, I'm using my, um, who is that? I'm using my attack. I wanted to move uh, Musuki up a little bit. So it's a little bit annoying that Musuki is all the way back there. So again, we're going to try to aim. Ako will buff Musuki. And then do that. And then hopefully aim here. So hopefully Mutsuki's bomb can hit as many as we can. Okay, wait. Seems like Oshino needs a buff. Alright, so this team so far is doing pretty well. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna buff Mutsuki. Wait, wait, wait. Seems like Shizuko. Aru. Aim. Oh no, Mutsuki are too far back. Why is Mutsuki so far back? Oh man, I can actually one team this actually if I do correctly. Time is running out, so I'm just gonna do that. So we need a second team, unfortunately. Uh, I think I could one team this if things were better aim. But yeah, it's quite it's quite tough to aim properly. As you can see, Aru does quite a lot of damage actually, uh, because against the ranger, Aru definitely can do insane amount of damage. Uh, Musuki, she does a lot as well, but I her damage uh, is not as you know, it's not as dispersed as Aru's one. And plus, Aru can crit more, I do think. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't one-team that. But this is going to be the one-team 
one team strat that you see a lot of players have been sharing. But for me, I need two teams, so this is going to be my second team. Now, Sarika, um, she is always going to run forward. I don't really like her as much. I'm going to replace her with Akane. So I noticed that Akane can do the same thing or provide the same thing, right? So something like that. Again, as long as the defense is not yellow, like Koharu in this case, a bit risky. Koharu is always uh, is go is going to be in that risky spot. But other than that, I do think this is going to be the most helpful one. So let's go. Uh, I got two healers. All right, so we got Serena and we got a uh, Koharu, and the boss is like left with times fourteen. So I think we are fine. So I'm not super worried. So as you can see, uh, he's trying to shoot the rocket. You can see right there, Koharu get one-shotted by the rocket. Like, this is why <laughs> you don't want to bring yellow characters. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's try again and pray to RNG we don't get yellow rocketed. Please don't use any crazy yellow rocket. Don't do anything. Okay. Akane first. Kibiki. Okay. Shiroko. There's nothing that I can do right there. Oh my god. Okay, looks like... I guess you really can't bring Aru, eh? I don't know who do I replace... I mean Koharu. I need to bring someone else uh, in that case. But other than that, this is a solid strat. We just need to cycle around. Don't die, don't die. Okay. And the last one. Shiroko. Akane. Yeah, I wonder like just replace Koharu with Shun or something. I actually don't really need Koharu. Actually, why do I bring Koharu? <laughs> yeah. Now that I think of it, just take her out, replace with Shun, small Shun. I think those are going to be way better. You do way more damage. Or swimsuit Izumi, you know? Something that I think much more accessible to most players. Okay, so this is going to be my damage. Shiroko did the most alongside with Hibiki. My Hibiki is still 4 star. I'm slowly moving her towards 5 star. Actually, I should just get the LF and get her up to 5 stars. I think that's going to be the best bet. Alright, so that's my strat for the insane chitin. Hopefully this can help some of you guys uh, if you guys are referring to this strat. But yeah, uh, I'm out. Thanks, thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.